Claudia Bolivar, pastor of Eustos Presbyterian Church. Thank you for watching. For our fourth Wednesday in Lent, we are invited to consider the words of Psalm 139, verses 1 to 3 that say, O oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I raise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. This lesson is inviting us to consider how much God knows about us, how God knows what we're thinking, how God knows how we get up and how we go to sleep. This is important, and he's making us realize a wonderful story. He says in the story, the guy, um, the, the, the lady called Liz, the, the writer says that people are often surprising her church that they take assistance. They, someone that knows you, someone that knows who you are and knows your name, goes with a list and checks if you come to church. And to some of you, that might be strange and even weird. It's like taking assistance? Oh my gosh. Is this what, what, school? But don't, don't be afraid of that. See, I come from the Seventh Presbyterian Church in Colombia. And in there, there was a person often taking assistance. Now, he did it for different reasons. He didn't do it for checking on the sick, making sure that we were acquainted with all the things were happening. He did it to hold it against you. That wasn't so nice. See, you can take assistance. You can know who comes to church and who doesn't. And you can misunderstand their intentions. I, for, for once, will be happy to know who is coming and who is not going. Not with the hopes of holding it accountable or holding it against you, but to know when we don't see you, creating policies to make sure that we know when you come and participate. We need to consider checking on each other, especially now when we don't see each other. Take the phone, call one another, encourage one another. Who are the people that you see around in church? Who are the people that you're missing the most right now? Reach out to them. Deacons, reach out to your people. People, reach out to your deacons. I cannot stress it enough. We have a great amount of good uh, deacons as a resource. Some of them are your age. Some of them are older than you. We're not asking all deacons to do everything for you, but we need to establish channels of communication so we don't make mistakes. So where we know where we come from and where we're going. The ability that we have as a church to come close now will say a lot about us. Please, Consider the ways that you are engaging with one another. Consider who you are and acknowledge that God loves you and he wants to know more about you. Consider the ways that God acts and empower us through the power of the Holy Spirit. He knows where we come from. And he gives us people to help us. Church, I hope that you consider building a beloved community today. And while we cannot go to church, allow church to come to you. Dwell, hope, wait, persevere in the power of the Holy Spirit this day. We might not be able to check a list but we have a phone directory. We have contacts. We have friends. Reach out to them. 
The lesson is right when it says you cannot believe the amazing conversations that God will enable you to have when you're able to say, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's going on? Church, that is all for today. Until I see you next time, make sure that you check on your deacons and deacons, make sure that you check on your little small group of the congregation. That's all for now. Peace be with you.